Hi guys, it's uh, Rob from uh, Two Turtle Gardens here, and I uh, want to talk to you about a specific plant. Nobody's ever done a cameo here, of a good one anyway, of uh, the Shoshansky cob melon. And uh, this is a good opportunity, it's a good year for melons. I just wanted to show you what's up. Okay, we get some nice big fruit, and there's some more over here. We have a whole bunch of them forming, so we have about probably about 10 fruits on two plants inside a planter basket. What I've done is when I started them, I started them with uh, just a little bit of 2020 fertilizer once a week, every Friday, and made sure that the soil was kept uh, moist, but not super moist. You gotta let it dry out a little bit. The other thing about these melons is they like to spread across the ground. So I have one in the watermelon bed. That was a bad idea, I won't be doing that again. You really gotta stay on top of these for watering. If you put them in planters, the leaves will curl. Okay. Um, they flower very nice. Uh, whenever you hit the flowering period, what I'm doing, I'm just telling you what I'm doing. I don't know what to do. I mean, some people have better ideas than I do. 15, 30, 15 super flowering uh, and uh, fruit fertilizer. You put that in there when they start to flower, and then you're going to get more flowers, more pollinations. I did do some hand pollinating myself, but the bees have helped me out dramatically so uh, we have um, help from mother nature okay and this is a beautiful plant and that's kind of a, it spaces out it grows about the vines I guess with uh, three feet long three to four feet long and it fruits very well so this is the Shoshansky cob melon it's a rare melon you can buy the seeds from various places here in Canada and also I believe I've seen them for sale somewhere in the state so they're not very common because not many people you know, care about these things. I'm a home gardener and of course I do. Anyway, this is uh, Rob from Two Turtle Gardens. I thought I'd do a, uh, a Soshansky Cobb Melon review for people at home who have never grown these and who would like to. And if you need any more information from me, please just contact me down at the bottom of uh, the space bar and I'll give you all the information that I know of. Now it's an older variety of uh, Cobb Melon. It's from Russia. I believe the southern uh, Ukraine. I'm not absolutely sure. But anyway, that's what I got for now. I'm going to water it in a little bit because the soil is starting to go dry. And then when it's fruiting, you want to make sure it's getting water. Plenty of sun, lots of heat. We got it all here. All right, thank you. Rob out.